Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in this video, it is a brand new day here in Red Dead Online, and it is absolutely beautiful. And hopefully, your guys' day is going well as also. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Today, we're going to be making gold, money, and XP, and we're going to be doing that by doing the daily challenges like we do each and every single day. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what they are for today. Um, I actually already completed one completely obviously by mistake, but that's fine. Not a big deal um, We have uh, to kill and skin two American bison Hence the location that I'm kind of at it's actually really close to where I always set up my camp I love the heartlands the heartlands is amazing I'll show you guys exactly on the map where you guys can find them. We have to cook three season gaming You can get those by basically killing off rabbits or ducks. Those are pretty much the main ones You can pretty much find them Anywhere on the map. They're really easy to get we have to complete three free roam missions I don't even honestly know when the last time we had this daily challenge. It's been a really really long time So that's all right. That's not too bad. We have to, we have to complete one herb picking contest So we might be doing this either in the live stream or maybe I'll be doing this with a posse of friends a little bit later today But we're not gonna be necessarily doing this one on on here But we're gonna kind of talk about the free roam ones here in a little bit uh, Just jump from a horse onto a moving train. That should be easy Unless you can't find a train, of course, but you just ride alongside of it, whatever direction it's going, and then kind of mimic where it's going, and then push X, jump on if you're on the Xbox. I'm not sure what button it is on the PS4. If you guys know, put it down. The, put a comment down in the, the comment section, please. Uh, we have uh, three-player kills with throwing weapons in Showdown, throwing knives, hatchets, things like that. I'm thinking specifically name your weapon. It's kind of coming to my mind. Um, and then we have to have two-player stats boosted by tonics. All right. All right. So here we have uh, three alcohol bottles, antique alcohol bottles found. I post videos pretty much every single day of certain things. So this is going to be really easy for me. Lost jewelry found. We're going to be doing one on lost jewelry. We're also going to be potentially finding tarot cards. So there's that. We have to have three of each of those. We have to eat three camp stews. It does not matter which one it looks like, but we're going to test that when we go over to the camp because we're going to be going there to cook our season game meat. Just kind of throwing that out there. We do have to sell three times to a local buyer, which I really don't like that they, that they force you to do it three times because it's exactly how they don't want you to make money here in Red Dead Online is selling quick three. And now if you can do them just quick, 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 and then be done with it and then let the other ones build up to like a hundred, you're real, otherwise you're really not making money by doing the local goods. So. It's up to you if you really want to make the money or the gold, but it's only 0.2. I doubt anybody's is really higher than that. So I'm just kind of throwing that out there. Uh, perfect carcasses donated to Crips over time. That will happen throughout the day. I'm not necessarily going to get that. You can get deer, you can get ducks, you can get geese, whatever. In the heartlands, there's a lot of different animal types. Same thing with the Great Plains, same thing with Big Valley. There you go. You kind of get that idea of that one. We have to bring in two bounties uh, brought in from West Elizabeth posters. Now, I know that everybody's aren't quite the same, and there are different locations that you might have to do. We just do it in its respectable state. And then three bounty targets lassoed from horseback, which, for whatever reason, I can't do these in a posse, like a big posse. I can do it with, like, three or less people. So myself and, like, two other people, and it works just fine. So anyway, uh, bison. So make sure that you guys got your... Handy dandy, uh, bolt action rifle, Springfield rifle, whatever you're kind of looking for. Now, typically, they're usually right in this general area. They're usually actually over on that hillside over there, but I'm not seeing them. On the other side of this is the Heartlands uh, oil fields. So maybe they just haven't quite spawned in. I've been sitting here for a while, so it's possible that they just not, haven't spawned in. But we're going to run over there, and we're going to see if by chance they're on the other side of the hill. All right, let's see here. And that would be uh, nada. But this is the location that they are at. Typically, there's usually quite a few of them. Um, so if they're not here, we're, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to the camp, which is just right here. And then we'll come back here in just a moment. But between the H and the A in Hanover, for New Hanover... Uh, it's a great, great place to find bison. It's uh, there's also you down in the Great Plains. If you don't know where that's at, let me show you guys on the map. Pretty much like right here is a you can find bison as well. So those are the two locations to get the bison. 
Um, but we're definitely going to have to come back for that here in just a bit. So let's just run over to our our camp here. We got a couple deer. Actually, are any of these perfect by chance? No. Doesn't look like it. All right. Uh, let's just see if there's any geese here when we do right over here. Because there are typically... Let's see if there's eggs. No eggs? Okay, cool. Uh, there are some geese here. And neither one of them are perfect. That one is, though. So we're definitely going to donate that one. So let's see like what I mean. That's going to be one of six that we definitely need. We're just going to put that on our horse. And there we go. Um, we could also donate one of these other ones if we really, 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 really want. Hey, no, 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 no. hey now, put that on the horse now. Come on. All right, and this is our last one. We already got the gold for it, which is a beautiful, but yeah, we just cooked the minty game meat. Uh, I pretty much always have game meat on me. However, I am in the Heartlands Overflow, so I have access to a lot of ducks, which is beautiful because uh, it's so easy to get game meat right here. I love my campsite pretty much being right. I mean, how much better of a campsite location can you get than right inside of the Heartland Overflows? Well, I mean, unless you don't like your bed potentially getting soaked from water every each and every night. Uh, but one of our daily objectives for my rolls was to eat uh, three stews. So I'm thinking that this should count towards one of them. It's not like I need to build up my cores by any means. But there we go. That's one done. All right, we should be getting our gold for that right now. Come on. Give me my gold. There we go. 0.2 gold for eating three stews. I don't know how much easier it can get than that. Um, what else can we actually do here in this camp real quick? Um, free roam. Let's see. No, no. Oh, we could do uh, player stats. I guess we could. Uh, well, I guess an easy way to be doing this would actually be like in a showdown mode. So uh, otherwise, all you have to do is just equip like moonshine or doesn't really matter as long as your stats are boosted by tonics in some fashion or, or another you should be good to go um since i'm not going to be necessarily be doing that on camera all you guys have to do is just there's one and then we might as well do our dead eye as well we got it looks like we got a little bit of a raven going on here all right so point two gold that's another daily objective all done and complete all right let's just see if the bison are here by chance if they are here, then we might have to go a little bit further away. But we'll just have to see here in just a moment. Yep. It looks like our camp might be potentially blocking out the spawn of these. Or we could always go down to uh, Blackwater. But I think what we're going to do first is... I want to jump onto a moving train if I can find one. I thought the bison were going to be super easy. Just because of where my camp is actually located. All right, guys, I hear a train, and it sounds like it's going into Valentine's Station. Beautiful. All right, so ultimately, we just have to wait for this train to actually pull out of the station, and then we can get uh, we can get a jump on it. All right, guys, it is moving out of the station. Pretty much on cue. We're just going to go ahead and jump right now, and there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and back onto the horse just like so nice i'm kind of curious to see if the bison are actually there now but yeah i got really lucky by able by finding this uh this train pretty much not very far away from where i was currently located to begin with now we can ride back to the heartlands overflow and see if the bison are there Well, we just got done saving a guy from a, some coyotes, I guess. <laughs> you saved my life. You did. I cannot thank you enough. It's okay. You don't need to thank me. If not for you, I'm sure of it. I do not have any valuables, any money. You deserve more. But I thank you from my heart. You're not going to give I me hope anything. You are rewarded for your help somehow. Oh, okay. I guess I still got $10. I don't know how I got $10 considering that he said he didn't have any money. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, so for whatever reason, none of the bison were spawning over in Emerald Ranch. And I decided to come over to check out 
black water and it doesn't even look like they're here. Did Rockstar take them out of the game because they're part of the, the daily challenges? I don't know. Something seems a little fishy here. All right, nice. They uh, actually spawned in for me, so. All right, so we completed both of our uh, our bison skinning, so that's not so bad. So we were able to get two of them here in the Great Plains. All I actually had to do was load into a brand new session and they basically popped in for me, so it wasn't too terribly bad. Uh, what else do we have to do for today's daily objectives? We have to do the showdown one, free roam missions and the herb picking contest which we're not necessarily going to be doing those we could do the stranger missions in this one but you guys know exactly where to go there's lots of different places around the map that you guys can go and do those now as far as the daily or the uh role challenges um i am going to be I, I don't i just don't think you should do the three local one i mean if it's the point two gold is really important to you instead of the money then by, by all means do it but you can get point two gold from doing like an additional like stranger or straight free roll mission or a stranger mission uh showdown mode whatever it might be um i guess i just won't necessarily worry about those as far as these two go if you have lost jewelry and tarot cards in your roles objectives then definitely stay tuned for my channel on my channel because each and every day i do post um some locations of different pieces uh, i have I, i've done the the bottles already the antique alcohol bottles and i'm going to be doing the lost jewelry here shortly um and i'm going to do some other ones as well and as far as the the bounties from lemoyne and west elizabeth just go to the respective state and do the bounty posters there just depending on if you're, maybe you have one in new hanover maybe you have one down in new austin it just doesn't really matter just go to that specific area and do them and then for me um i have to Bounty uh, target lassoed from horseback. So I have to stay on horseback, but I have to make sure that I lasso them while I'm on horseback. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But that is all of them um, pretty much done. Um, yeah. But again, if you guys want to start seeing some of the showdown ones happening live every day, then please let me know down in the comments section. But that is everything for today. If you guys did enjoy the video for in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to turn on that bell so you guys get notified each and every single day I drop a video like this one. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.